In this video, we'll use the Fit Y by X platform to uncover relationships among variables. Now that we've explored the distribution of some of our variables, let's investigate some relationships among them. There are many different types of analyses we can run and jump, but I'll start with the Fit Y by X platform, a platform that's all about looking at the relationships among pairs of variables. I'll start by taking bill amount and putting that as my Y response and number of guests as my X factor. When I click OK, Jump will return a scatter plot of bill amount and number of guests. Notice that Jump has not provided an analysis yet, since many different types of analyses are possible here. Under the red triangle, we'll see those different types of analyses. For instance, fitting a line between these variables would make sense. When I select fit line, Jump will show us the linear fit and all the statistical details and add the fitted line to our scatter plot. Let me go back to analyze fit Y by X. I'll again take bill amount and click that into Y response, but this time I'll take a different type of variable, day of week, which is categorical, and click that into X factor. When I click OK, Jump will again give me some basic output, but notice the red triangle here gives different options because Jump knows Different types of analyses make sense when we have a qualitative or categorical X factor. Here, I might be interested in the analysis of variance. I'll click Means ANOVA and Jump will compute the one-way analysis of variance. Remember, the red triangle in each of these windows will contain options that make sense for the given data. For instance, the red triangle on the right-hand side gives us many additional options and analyses we might wish to include. For instance, I might also want to turn on quantiles to get a listing of the quantiles for each day of week. On the left-hand side, we might also want to include some basic summary statistics. I'll go to the red triangle and select summary statistics, which will include the correlation, the covariance, and the mean and standard deviation for each of my variables. 